The beauty scientists, Dr. Christy Hamilton and Dr. Roy Kim. Real beauty without the hype. The internal bra sounds really cool. It's basically a sling or something that reinforces your own breast tissue. What's cool is that we can use it for breast implants. It actually can be used for breast lift, including if we use your own tissue and you get a breast lift, we can actually still use the internal bra concept. So in terms of you using it for breast augmentation, Dr. Hamilton or Christy, how do you sort of figure out when to use it or not with an implant, with breast lift, with breast augmentation and lift? Yeah. So what woman hasn't wanted to say, I want to have all the support of the bra, but I want to go braless. That's, that is something that women I think constantly have, have talked about. And, and now we have something that's going to provide more support. You'll hear us still say we want you to wear a bra, <laughs> but there are a few breast subsets or a woman with certain types of tissues that I think really ought to consider adding an internal bra. One of those is if you're putting in very large implants, I think that's going to put a lot of weight on the skin and the lower pole breast tissue. And so extra support would be beneficial in that area. And then when I look at women who've got stretch marks, not the best tissue quality, maybe they're a little bit older, maybe they had three kids and breastfed them for a year and a half each. When we see that that collagen and elasticity is not great, that's another great candidate to just add some internal support to help keep their lift or breast augmentation or combination as high for as long as possible. Similar to that category of patients, also the massive weight loss patients. So we see similar tissue quality, stretch marks, a lot of sagging. And so we want to, after we redrape and sculpt and make this beautiful lifted breast, maybe with an implant for volume, we want to make sure that we just have, we create as durable a result as possible. So I, I position it as an insurance policy or an enhancement for your surgery. Although since everybody's different, their tissue qualities are different. It's hard to tell patients, oh, how much longer they'll stay lifted if they have one, if they don't, because that journey is going to be individual person to person. What about yeah, you? I totally agree. And I think it's easier to tell patients, hey, if you already have breast sag, what we call ptosis, if you already have lax skin or loose skin, it's a little easier to say, hey, yes, we're doing this rejuvenating procedure, but if you want a longer lasting result, then yes, well, I strongly recommend the internal bra. I think it's to be seen whether it's used routinely in breast augmentation patients only and patients yeah. who don't need a breast lift. Yeah, I agree because we see people that put in smaller implants, even larger implants, and 20 years later, they may still look great. So you could definitely make that the case that that patient didn't need one, but it's just, it can be hard to know also with your magic eight ball looking forward, how tissue, what the tissue quality may look like then. But I agree. I'm not using it routinely in primary cases, especially for younger women. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on The Beauty Scientist. Be sure to visit thebeautyscientist.com and learn more about modern beauty and connect with Dr. Hamilton and Dr. Kim.